today we will see in detail about the addition of angular momentum i have divided this lecture into several part today we are going to see the addition of angular momentum for spin of particle particularly for hydrogen atom and we are going to see the in detail about the singlet state and triplet state about the hydrogen atom problem uh, let us have two spin of particle for example the electron and the proton in the ground state of hydrogen atom each can have spin up or spin down uh, so therefore uh, there are four possibilities one is both are up both the electron and uh, uh, proton are up state like first one and the uh, uh, electron is up and proton is down and uh, that uh, maybe electron is down proton is up or uh, uh, both are down so uh, here red color shows the electron and the green the proton so here both are in a spin up state spin up so uh, uh s plus uh, yes that is s1 plus s2 is one total uh, spin is one here the spin is zero because one is up other one is down one is plus up another one is minus up similarly here one is minus up electron is minus up proton is plus up so m equal to zero in this case, both are down, down. Uh, that is, uh, both are minus half, spin minus half. So, total spin, uh, mth comp component is, here it is minus one. You can notice that uh, uh, plus one, zero, minus one. But, however, you have two, uh, zero. Either electron is up, proton is down, or electron is down, proton is up. Both cases you have zero. Total spin is zero. So uh, now the total spin is spin up uh, first particle and uh, second particle. This is spin up electron. This is uh, spin up proton. So throughout this lecture, I am using uh, red color for uh, electron and green color for proton. So similarly for Z component. Uh, yes, Z, total Z component is a Z component of uh, particle 1 and Z component of particle 2. Now, uh, let us assume that this is the annihilation operator. We have studied, uh, uh, that is, uh, in fact, we can say, uh, in case of uh, uh, the harmonic oscillator, we will see annihilation creation operator here it that is not this is not a uh, annihilation operator sorry this is the uh, lowering operator so lowering operator uh, this can be written as lowering operator for particle one and lowering op operator for particle two so here uh, you should remember that Lowering our operator particle one act only on particle one. Similarly, uh, the lowering operator for particle two will act only on uh, particle two. So that you have to remember. Uh, say if lowering operator operate on two up uh, spin up state, two spin up state, because you cannot. Uh, that is a rising operator cannot act over this because it cannot go uh, further. So you can operate only the lowering operator. So either a green color will go to go down uh, or red color will go down. It it may be other way, other way around around also. So this normalization constant is. 1 over square root of 2 uh, times it is spin down, spin up, spin up, plus spin up, spin down. When uh, lowering operator act on uh, the first one, that is both 
upward that is m equal to 1 we will see in detail when lowering operator act on a two spin up state this can be written as a lowering operator for particle 1 and a lowering operator for particle 2 now from the first case the electron will come down because it act on only a electron first particle that is first particle and this will act on the second particle in this case it's proton so this will uh, come down uh, so this uh, 1 over square root 2 is a normalization constant as is. Uh, you take other way around it that is first uh, the lowering operator for second particle act first then the first particle act on next sec second so now this will be a green color will come down and here the red color come down one over square root so both are similar this and this are similar now we will see what will happen if uh, the lowering operator act again on this uh, maybe uh, again on this or uh, the, this both are same so uh, when lowering operator that is total lowering operator is s minus 1 yes uh, minus 2 now uh, let us say uh, the s minus uh, 1 act first uh, so this will uh, come down and uh, yes uh, minus 2 act on the second one so this will come down so this also down down and plus down down so you will get uh, at an as a net result both are down down state so now normalization constant is 1 because both are down state. First we have seen the situation that both, both particles are up, up, up. So we, we are using lowering operator. We used lowering operator as you cannot, uh, the particle cannot go further because it is already in up, up state. Here both are down, down state. So naturally the rising operator only can act on this. So as usual you take uh, that is low, uh, rising operator one act on and the act first and the two act next. So this will be uh, see here it's red color. Uh, red color town will go to up. Here green color town will go up. So the uh, normalization constant is one over square root two. Uh, up down up down plus up down uh, similarly you assume that uh, yes to uh, act first then yes one then in that case green will go up and uh, here the red will go up see both are symmetrical so uh, one over square root uh, now uh, you uh, same thing what will happen the here it is plus if it is minus what will happen uh, let us say uh, the lowering operator act on this state what will happen uh, first uh, s1 will go down second case green will go down uh, that is down down minus down down uh, both are having minus one minus one so which will cancel out it will become zero so similarly if uh, rising operator act on uh, this uh, that is uh, 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 anti-symmetric one here up down uh, then minus down up so uh, if uh, rising operator act on this uh, upper uh, sorry uh, rising operator here it can act only on and this case so it will go up similarly the rising operator green will act on this one only because this is already in up state so both will go up the total spin is one one minus one zero in this case also zero so we have seen uh, four uh, condition that is both are up means uh, one and that uh, we will see in detail in the next slide. 
at the beginning of my lecture, we have seen uh, four possibilities. That is, uh, fourth are up, up. Uh, if you write yes, total spin is yes. Here also, uh, mth uh, z component, mz is one. So fourth are one, one. Uh, then, uh, in this case, we have seen next case, uh, one may be up or other may be down, like this. So this normalization constant is square root of 1 over square root of 2. So total spin in this case also 0, here also 0. I see uh, if lowering operator act on this, we have seen, we, you will get this. Uh, similarly, uh, if both are uh, down, then it is uh, minus 1. What? Minus one. So you have three state. One, zero, minus one. In this case, if you use rising operator, P as port are down, you will get the same thing. See, uh, when S is equal to one, we, uh, we have M, one, zero, minus one. So this is called triplet state. And uh, if both are zero in this case, uh, just now I, I have shown whether you use a uh, lowering operator or rising operator, this will become zero. When you are uh, using lowering operator, both will uh, come down. So here, this also down, down, this also down, down. So total spin is um, uh, minus one, here minus one. So net result will be zero. Uh, if you are using a rising operator, in a, uh, then both will go up, up. So that means uh, to, uh, total spin is 1, 1 minus 1 will be 0. This is called single uh, state. That is when uh, S is equal to 0, total spin is 0, you will get only one state. When total spin is uh, 1, then you will get three states. So this is called a triplet uh, state. This is a singlet state. So far we have seen uncoupled state. That is, uh, the uh, operator will act only on the particular particle. But we cannot distinguish it. the new state uh, may be due to whether it is due to electron or proton. So we have to see only the combined effect. Uh, let us say the combined state is uh, get S M. S is the where S is the uh, total spin and uh, M is the Z component. Z component. Uh, so, uh, which, uh, if you want to find the S M state, uh, you have to use some linear combination of uh, S1, M1 and S2, M2. So, uh, summation over M, S1, uh, M1, uh, get S1, M1, and get S2, uh, M2, which is equal to get S, M. Naturally, you will get a, uh, only expansion coefficient or probability amplitude, which we are calling as a clips card and coefficient. We will see in detail about this uh, clips card and coefficient in my later lecture. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, kindly subscribe my videos.